assalamu alaikum dear students today our topic of presentation is the pyridophytes pyridophytes is a course of bs fifth semester which is completely known as diversity of vascular plants okay we are discussing here the pyridophytes and gymnosperms also we will discuss about the palynology in our coming lectures today we are discussing about the pyridophytes what are the pteridophytes about its habit habitat size morphology and distribution distribution and occurrence so the word pteridophyte is taken from two greek word pteron and phyta pteron mean feeder and phyta mean plants so these are a special group of plants whose body is just like feeder like okay it is further divided into two main groups one is known as lycophytes and another one is known as ferns previously they were known as ferns and fern allies the lycophytes were previously known as fern allies but according to the modern group of classification according to the ppg1 pyridophyte phylogeny group the lycophytes the name fern allies it is known as lycophytes lycophytes is the new name of fern allies okay so as you know that pteridophytes they are the lower vascular plants they have xylem and phloem okay they have a well developed root stem and leaf also having rhizoids okay they are also known as cryptogames the bryophytes and pteridophytes are combinedly known as cryptogame crypto means hidden and gamy means marriage okay so now we are moving towards its habit mostly all the pteridophytes they are herbs except few species which are tree ferns for example saitia and dicksonia they are tree ferns they are found in north america south america even in india but not found in pakistan okay next one is habitat the pteridophytes are mostly found in moist and shady places near the pond pools wet and shady places mostly dominant in moist temperate forests okay they can be regarding its habitat they can be found as terrestrial also aquatic some are lithophytic while some are epiphytic regarding its habitat there is a huge diversity in them okay terrestrial means they will be found on the ground on the soil aquatic means they will be found floating on the water phytoplankton for example marsilia Marsilia minuta and Marsilia quadrifolia and Azolla pinnata also the salvinia these are aquatic lithophytic means they are found on rocks for example Kilianthes elyropterus and Asplenium epiphytic means if he means above phytes mean plants they are found on other plants for example Pyrosia and Lepisaurus belongs to family Polypodiaceae okay next one is about its morphology so here i will show you some these are the two this one is a lycophyte while this one is a fern okay this is known as equisetum this is a common lycophyte this is only a single genus found in the world okay belongs to class pinoxida while this is a common fern edientum and it is known as edientum tibeticum there are two species edientum venicitum and edientum tibeticum also we have another one edientum capellus venerus edientum incisum and edientum cardatum okay so this is the rhizome underground part okay also having roots on the rhizome it having scales this stem is known as rachis while the leaves are known as penna while the leaflets are known as pinnules okay and their venation are known as costa and costules okay this is the apical penna while these are the lateral penna okay 
the sori they are found on the lower surface okay the sori have a cover known as endusia singular its endusium while inside the sori the sporangia are found and which many many spores are found okay and they can they they are the plants which are reproduced with the help of spores pteridophytes did not bear any kind of flowers fruits and seeds their mode of reproduction occurs by the help of spores this is a common equisetum they can reproduce by the help of strobuli cones which are found on their branches okay so and it has a special character known as alternation of generation okay their plant body is known as sporophyte their roots stem and leaf while the gametophyte having spores the sporophyte is formed by the help of mitosis while the gametophyte is formed by the meiosis okay we have another group that is known as ferns throughout the world there are 10000 species of ferns total pteridophytes are 12000 okay 2000 species are lycophytes while 10000 are pteridophytes in pakistan we have a total of about 170 species of pteridophytes okay we have 45 genera and 19 families of pteridophytes in pakistan okay some common families are Asplenaceae, Pteridaceae, Telepteridaceae, Dryopteridaceae, Osmundaceae, Blichnaceae, etc., etc. Okay, and the Lycophytes families are the Lycopodiaceae, Selaginaceae, and Equisetaceae. Okay, the Lycophytes are Selaginella, Lycopodium, Hapargia, and Equisetum. While the remaining examples are the ferns, Edientum. Marsilia, Pteris, Dryopteris, Polystichum, Osmunda, Actinopteris, Eleuropteris, Calianthes, etc., etc. These are the ferns. Okay. So this was a general lecture about the pteridophytes. Inshallah, in coming lecture we will discuss about the classification of pteridophytes. Hopefully, all of you will have enjoyed like this lecture. and may have learned a lot of new things about the pteridophytes and then so if you like our youtube channel so subscribe it and keep watching it also give us your good feedbacks that how we can improve our videos thank you so much